Noob Noob, are you ready to go back to the Matrix? Meow. The Meowtrix. The Catrix. Schnarf. Reloaded. Oh, baby, this is the movie we didn't ask for, and I don't think anybody wanted to see this or do anything with this. Warner Brothers needed it. They needed it so bad. They needed to have that trans thing make another movie. Oh, my God, what a bigot you are. So I, you know, I was watching this movie, and I was thinking to myself, like, this is an okay movie? Like, it's not a Matrix movie kind of a matrix movie it's about the matrix but i don't really think it's a matrix where were the cool stunts that is true there were no cool stunts there was there a single action sequence that you thought was good one of them didn't one person like run on a wall once uh they did some weird upside down thing but yeah yeah and people have been all over the internet like destroying this movie just saying how absolutely awful it is and I've come to the conclusion that the movie is actually a movie that hates itself. Oh, my God. That it's it's really... And it hates the Matrix and the Matrix franchise and, in particular, Warner Brothers. So it's a mass cast. Yes. 100, and I think I have the proof for you guys. So... Because this will be spoiler-filled, but we're not really going to break the movie down because... There's nothing there's to break There's so down. much wrong with it. Like, it's just an okay sci-fi movie. I mean, what's the plot of the movie? Uh, Keanu Reeves has to love... Um, Learn to love Car- again? Carrie Ann Moss. Yes. <laughs> they love each other. So, like, do, does this impact anything in the world? Like, are we freeing humanity? Are we, nope. Nope, not that. Oh, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith is in there getting probably a lot of pipe laid on her <laughs> as an old lady. That's an old lady. I mean, they did make her None a lesbian. None of Will Smith. Is she a lesbian? I don't know what she is, but Will Smith ain't in that movie. movie. I meant. I don't know what she is. Okay. Well, th- uh, this article is saying that there's seven ways the Matrix is giving you is giving the f- middle finger to Hollywood's IP addiction. So let's set a context first. Is this one? The movie would have happened regardless of what the Wachowski sisters wanted to do, and I think. That's why Lana Wachowski was like, well, I better do it or else someone else will do it. And then she's like, while I'm doing this, I'm going to give everybody a big giant middle finger. Because she doesn't need to work anymore. Yeah. I mean, she's had enough multi-million dollar bombs that she probably never needs to work. I mean, they made The Matrix and then what else? Uh, what? Speed Racer. Well, some people like Speed Cloud Racer. Cloud Atlas. Cloud Atlas. No Jupiter boy, Ascending. No nope. Terrible. That's honestly all I remember. Okay. Well. And the three Matrix movies. Yes, and if you think back to the Matrix franchise, I think the Matrix was like groundbreaking and amazing, but the other two were like, not so much. Uh, I wasn't super into them. I just remember it was Keanu Reeves before he got hot. What? Uh, (laughs) That's all you remember? Yeah, he didn't have long hair, so he wasn't as hot. Right. Well, uh, one of the producers, James McTeague, McTeague, McTitty. He admits that Warner Brothers was going to make it to a different with a different director. So they felt that the Matrix had money making capability, and boy, were you wrong! Holy cow! I think when people look back on it, they're like, "Eh." If you had a really, really solid trailer that looked like a really good movie, I think maybe there was. This was also very poorly directed. I mean, the trailer made it look really bad, and the movie was just. A little bad, so that was good. <laughs> so the trailer didn't make it look super duper bad. No, the trailer made it look worse, and then I saw the movie. I was like, oh, I'm pleasantly surprised. I had heard so many people say how bad it was, and then when I watched it, I was like, oh, that was okay. I let's look. They mention so this is this article from whatever Epic Stream. We're just gonna break down a couple of them. They mention Warner Brothers by name. They there's literally a scene where it's Lana Wachowski probably talking to her sister saying like they're gonna make it without us so we better make this thing and have them just say fuck you basically a sequel is inevitable mr anderson why do you fight it (laughs) okay uh the real enemies are the suits and i guess the swarm mode could just be like armies of producers attacking you (laughs) that is true the swarm mode makes no sense and is dumb 
and yeah. they make the agents like th this movie didn't even care like about the agents didn't care about anything there's like one or two small good ideas uh they basically get tortured when they get brought <laughs> back right Neo and Trinity are, but that is true yeah and it's probably them being like you're torturing us to do this aren't you all <laughs> right why were they brought? I mean, they, I don't know why they were brought back in the first place, but whatever. My, just to milk them for a little bit more money. Wait, like you'd milk a cat. Uh, repetition. Oh, repetition as a means of control. I don't care that much. Like, yeah, what are they? Dumb. Yeah, I don't know. Meta montage about what the Matrix really is. That was very. The, the whole beginning was just a mind. The whole part where they're just in the pitch meeting shouting at each other over and over and over and over and over yeah. and over again. Like, that was not funny or interesting. They could have cut it after, like, the first two, and they're just like, no, we're going to beat you to death with this. It was bad. The fate of Zion I forgot is what now Zion irrelevant. Was. Yeah. What is Zion? You don't remember the orgies? Nope. From the second movie? Wasn't there multiple... Isn't there like a bunch of Z things like Zion and Zay, nope. Zendaya? Nope. Zendaya's not in this. Damn it. Do you remember the Orpheus statue though and how terrible that was? Yeah, I remember the Morpheus statue, yeah. That was really bad. It yeah. did. I forgot he was in the movie. He's not really. He's. It, that's how bad the movie was. It, it plays clips though from other movies and it tries does. to tell you it's a video game, but it's not. It's really this movie is very confused. Uh, everyone said confusion. they were going to take the the red pill back. They did not do. They that. didn't do anything. So, no, yeah. they did none of that. Uh, they introduced new characters, which were completely irrelevant. NPH was kind of cool. His eye, he was all right. I like. I mean, I like watching Keanu. The new um, Agent Smith. He's he was not okay. Yeah, but he's not Agent. Smith. Just make him somebody else. He's not Agent Smith. But do you know why I really know that uh, Lana Wachowski hated making this movie? Why? And I haven't. Se I tried to find the screen cap, and the only person I'm going to give him credit for is um, just some guy he does a great breakdown of this video. He goes, "Why the Matrix is an embarrassing failure," and I think if you're a super Matrix fan, you're super, super duper disappointed in this. If you're a casual Matrix fan, like I love the Matrix, but the rest of them I could I I could never see those other two and be perfectly content never to see those movies ever again. I don't remember anything other than they kind of live in a computer. <laughs> They're pretty bad. Um and I could care less about those movies, but this is a screen cap directly from the the movie itself where they have a, 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 a thing giving the middle finger to the basically the the audience and the ma the Matrix uh, merchandise, huh? Right. That's neat. Yeah, people seem to have, people miss that, and just some guy figured it out. Great. I'll, I mean, I'll link his video right here. Yes, he's just some guy. He is just some guy, but he does some great commentary. Got a lot more subscribers than tell us, him so. we sent him. We sent you. Yeah, and then he'll maybe hook us up. But he d does great commentary here. And I just thought that was fascinating that it's literally an F you to the fans because it's on his desk and you could easily miss it. But it's like, yeah, I didn't want to do this. They made me do this. I hate this movie. I hate doing it. Good luck. There was zero character growth. Like the rat, what's her name? Uh, the girl from Iron oh, Fist. Uh, the, she did absolutely nothing. The kind of attractive Asian girl with blue hair? Yeah, she did absolutely nothing. She had no. Ca she basically didn't exist in the second half of the movie. I didn't and the new Morpheus was just there for no reason. He was Vanta Black Manta, the blackest Black Manta. They also made a part where they had basically like Autobots. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. You know they have like the little guy? Yeah. They're like, whoa! Oh, they don't like to be called... Uh, the what, little... What? Woo! What the, they oh, like yeah. Don't misgender them. Yeah, don't misgender the robots. They're synthians. Which I like that idea. I thought that was a cool idea to do with the IPO. But they didn't, like, expand. I would have... There was a cool movie inside this movie. The video, the movie where... Like the Civil War with the yeah, robots. Yeah, the Civil War with the robots. I would have liked to see that. Thank you very much. You saw, like, a 10-second clip of it. With Jada Pickett Smith. Yeah. Which she was laying no pipe there. Will Maybe robot pipe. Will Smith was laying all the pipe. Yeah, so I felt like this... Vi the, my take on this was... This was like almost revenge porn for Lana Wachowski. Where she was like, I'm going to revenge you. What I don't understand is... Where, where, isn't there... There's two of them, right? There, uh, this The other sister is not directing movies. I think they're just doing Broadway now. And one have nothing to do with The Matrix. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, I, I guess they had such a bad time. I don't know if you... I remember some of this and I some of the stories. But when they originally... They filmed... The, the first movie was written 
Oh, and by the way, it's completely stolen. The, the Matrix and its concepts and a lot of his visuals are stolen from Grant Morrison and The Invisibles, a story that he wrote a long time ago. The guy's a genius. And there's been lawsuits about it, so you can look into it, and I promise you there's a lot of like stuff that's stolen from there, and, uh, and, and they're still not talking to each other. So, what? Uh, what the hell is The Invisibles? It's a, it's a graphic novel comic book. Sounds made up. It's, I could Google it for you. Would you no, like me to no, Google it? I don't care that much. But a lot of the concepts and the story and all of that is stolen from there. So then when they, they filmed The Matrix and then they got greenlit for a sequel and they decided to film them, I think back to back, but they were literally writing them on the set. And Keanu was like, I never want to work with like that ever again. Like that was one of the worst experiences. And somehow he got wrote back into this. Maybe he felt bad. Wait, they didn't like the Matrix movies? Mm-mm. Keanu, oh. no. I thought everyone was all happy-go-lucky on them. No, not on the second two because they were being written while they were filming it. Oof. So they had no, like if, if the Merovingian and the train man don't make sense to you, it's because they were literally writing it on set. And they had like... I guess they they weren't stealing directly from source material again. So, you know, think of like a, a Game of Thrones type scenario only way, way before that. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Because I was really into the Matrix. I bought the Animatrix. Like, I, I thought it was awesome. And then the second two, the second movie came out and was like, mm, I don't know that I like this. And then the third one came out and I was like, what is this crapola? It was just kind of crappy. I'm kind of glad I didn't pay attention because I don't remember any of it. The, yeah, the first one I've told that this story before, where I, my my buddy was a little too uh, high, yeah, on the wacky tobacco, and he literally looked at me and his brain was melting, <clears throat> and he's like, "What's going on, man?" So yes, I I enjoy. <laughs> it was all right, I guess. It was a great movie going experience at the time. So it was one of those movies that was culture like it changed the way you could see movies. It, it blended east and west sensibilities and and brought like amazing action choreography and one of the reasons why i think the action choreography on this movie wasn't very good is the original action chore- choreographer died so that guy was a legend yeah, i wish i knew his name just had a bunch of uh, jedi force powers well they were like oh neo like like keanu reeves can clearly do like real c- fighting and he control. might not like, have he- been allowed to because he was filming john wick i was thinking that possibly but like just to give him Push force push powers and Jedi powers is kind of dumb. And he couldn't fly though. Well, he he, he got a little limp, the... limp, uh, limpus, wandus limpus action. Yeah, right? he couldn't get, get he couldn't get his flight up. He got it up at the end though. Uh, no, she was still carrying him, wasn't she? At the very end, no. Pretty I thought, sure she I was. Thought they like did a swirly yeah, thing and they flew. It, I think she did away. it all. I don't know. Either she, way, she's the one. She's the w- yeah. Let's just magically the new make her. one. It's also weird, like the the allegory of like um, their binary love of like a man needs a woman to be completed was a little weird there. Like, what are you? I'm a little confused. But hey, if you liked it, I don't blame you because I do, I didn't mind it. It was okay. Like, it was better than the third one. Maybe not better than the second one. I mean, it just wasn't. Like, it didn't make a lot of sense. The post credit scene was clearly the best part. Ah, the best. The only part you wanted to talk the about. The You just want to open up that cat tricks. want to go into the cat tricks. And just do cat things. They need to remake the movie with, uh... Oh, maybe that was a nod to... They made a, a cat movie called Keanu. Interesting. Maybe I that... doubt it. Nope, not a nod to that. No, I don't think so. Either way, they just need to remake the movie with cats. Well, all right. They, they did. It's called Cats. And no one liked that no, either. No, nobody wants Taylor Swift's fairy cat butthole. Nope. Or Not at all. Uh, who's that fat gay man that does late night? Oh my god, James Corden. He's just gonna slander everybody. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not slimmer. That's for sure. No, he a fatty. Well, anyway, I uh, we would really appreciate a like and subscribe. That would be fantastic. Uh, you catch our full length audio podcast anywhere you can get podcasts: Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places. It's free to you. We do also stream live seven thirty p.m. Friday nights. So check us out there. And if you don't give us a like and subscribe, Noob Noob might just do this. We'll tie you down to a chair and enter your matrix rectally. And then hold you there and make you watch every single one of our videos until you're programmed to like and subscribe. And then you tell your family, friends, dogs and cats to like and subscribe as well. We'll We'll swarm everything. I'll lay that pipe up and down on your mother. Wow. Yep. Well. Anyway, that's all from us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, and uh, we are on.
to the next one.